I didn't know I was searching for someone like Grace until I met her. I don't know why people are so interested now. I'm not sure why I am who I am. I think it does have something to do with the fact that I was born female and born Chinese. I'm not sure what that is, but I have to think that through. And I thought that maybe in our discussions we would be able to explore that. The Negro Revolt is here. I believe that the Negro Revolt represents the beginning of a new revolutionary epoch. I made a speech at the Center for the Study of Democratic Institutions in Santa Barbara. I tried to help these male intellectuals, these liberal intellectuals, understand that the black movement was about something deeper than rights. Back in 1963, Grace was still speaking as an outsider. I want to make very clear that I, I do not claim in any sense of the word to be a Negro. I have not lived all my life as a Negro, and I don't think anyone who hasn't really can speak for the Negro. But once she becomes a black power activist, she starts using the word we. In the black movement, when we were demanding first-class citizenship, we were saying we were be, being denied that. We were very ethical, but we wanted more than that. Right. We wanted to become part of the people who took responsibility for the country. Right and high. I think it's because I grew to love Detroit and to feel responsible for Detroit that I was able to grow. And so the Black Power Movement even in her 90s, Grace still travels the country talking about revolution. But she always brings the conversation back to Detroit. I can't begin to tell you the number of young people who come to Detroit. And they come in order to be part of this new world that is being created. Grace was at the forefront of the movements in Detroit that were developing urban gardens and eventually even bigger urban farms. Most gardeners, I'd say 90% of gardeners, don't garden on land they own. They're gardening on vacant lots that are next to their house or across the street. And they paint it as a tire. To think of gardens as the basis of hope was something that was unthinkable just a few years ago. Conversation is now Grace's main form of activism. She's constantly inviting people into her home. But it's not just a chat. She pushes everyone to evolve their ideas. Why is nonviolence such an important, not just a tactic, not just a strategy, but an important philosophy? because it respects the capacity of human beings to grow. Yeah. It gives them the opportunity to grow their souls. And we owe that to each other. And I, it'll take me a long time to learn that. Every time I visit Detroit, I wonder if this will be my last conversation with Grace. Oh. oh, dear. It takes so much effort just to get around. On the one hand, I have endured, and on the other hand, I have changed. I can remember swearing when I was young that I would not change, because if I changed, I would betray the revolution. And as I've grown older, I've understood that I should change. And, and changing was really more honorable than not changing. As I have grown older, I think more in terms of centuries, whereas eight or nine years ago, I was only talking about decades. And it's so obvious that we are coming to a huge turning point. You begin with the protests, but you have to move on from there. Yeah. 
But just being angry, just being resentful, just being outraged does not constitute revolution. So many institutions of our society need reinventing. The time has come for a new dream.